What I have in front of me right now is one of the coolest camera attachments I've ever used with a smartphone. Let's get started. Now this right here is the cinema mount and this is an attachment you connect your smartphone to and basically it allows you to take some really awesome photos with some really cool lenses. Now inside the box you're going to get the cinema mount itself. You're going to get a filter holder with two filters, a gray and a blue as well as a filter case. You're going to get your wide angle lens with a cover. You're going to have your macro lens here. And then finally, you're going to have a shoe mount. Here. Now the way the cinema mount works is very simple. You basically just turn it around and you're going to place your smartphone in this area here. And then you're going to adjust the size accordingly. Now you have these two knobs here, which will allow you to do that. But for starters, let's put the phone in. So we want to align our smartphone here. And I'm using an iPhone 6S with a case just to show you that pretty much any smartphone, pretty much any size should fit. So we'll go ahead and what I do is just slide the phone in like so, and I just push upwards and it goes in really easily. Here the snap, you're in. And you don't have to worry because this is rubberized right here, so it's not going to cause any damage to your device. Once it's in, you want to try to align your camera, which is here, with the lens. So you're going to use the top section here to pull apart, and then you're gonna use this section here to pull upwards. And what you wanna do is get that exact fit, and once you've got it, just tighten it up on both sides. So there we go, we've tightened this, and then flipping it around, which hopefully I didn't move it, we'll tighten this one up too. And it should be perfectly aligned with the camera. Once everything is aligned, you can launch your camera app on your smartphone and you can see how the photo looks and how the picture looks without any lenses at all. Now to attach the lenses, it's pretty simple. So for starters, we're gonna focus right here and what we're gonna do is put the macro lens on so we can take those really nice close-up photos and it just screws on really easily. It actually probably the simplest way to put something on here. So it's on and now you can see that everything is really blurry, but if we take something and put it up really close, you can see that it's just amazing the way that it gets that close up and it's actually really detailed and looks really nice. Now I'll put on screen here so you can see exactly how good this looks in different scenarios and different situations. But for now, we'll just screw on the wide angle lens here and it screws on the same way. It actually screws onto the macro lens and then you can just clip off the wide angle lens here and now you can see you're going to get a much wider camera angle. Now again, on screen, you can see how this will compare to the standard lens or the standard smartphone angle, and you can see you're getting much more in frame. Now, if you're someone who likes to use manual filters, you can always screw on this right here, which is your filter adapter, and then you can just slide in the filters just like this really easily. Basically, it's going to give you a filtered look. I'll just hold it over so you can see. Kind of gives it that bluish hue, or it'll give you the darker with the gray and kind of light up top, whichever way you like to put it in. I personally prefer to just use the filters after the fact. That way I can pull them off and on, depending. But if you like to use it manually, it is there for you. Now the shoe mount works very simply as well. You're just going to take it and screw it on. Everything is just screw on, snap in. You don't need any tools or anything like that. And once you've got it in a position you like, you can just leave it as so. And then on this side, you have an adjustment. So if you have various sizes or you wanna make sure what you're putting in there is tight, it'll fit nice and snug. Now in terms of build and design, this thing looks pretty nice. I mean, it is a little bit large, but it's giving you that quality that you're looking for if you want to go up above just the standard quality of a smartphone but also it's made of nice material it's got a nice plastic finish on the outside they've added these little dots or like paint splatter design look to it so it gives it that premium look also a wood grain finish which you can actually switch up there is a link in the description you can see price availability information everything like that choose different colors for your grain finish here but also everything about this thing just screams premium and professionalism. Up top, you even have a level. So if you do use this on a tripod or wherever, you can just make sure you're in the middle of that spot 
and you'll be able to take a straight photo. So they've thought of everything with this as well as it being able to fit pretty much any smartphone. Now one thing I'd like to stress is that if you're using a smartphone that's got a crappy camera or a crappy sensor in the camera, this isn't going to do it justice. You wanna have something that's somewhat decent so that this thing can improve upon it. If it's already crappy, this thing is just going to enhance that crappiness. So you wanna make sure that your phone that uh, you're going to be using has a somewhat decent camera. For example, I was using the 6S. I also tested this with the iPhone 6 and same thing. I mean, as long as you've got a decent camera, it's going to produce that awesome looking video and photo quality. Now, as I said, the lenses. First off, it's got the wide angle lens. Wide angle lens doesn't impress me too much, it just widens the camera angle. Obviously, if that's what you're looking for, it's there. But for me, I personally loved the macro lens. The fact that it was able to get that close to those ladybugs and show me things I couldn't even see with my naked eye. I was sitting right up against those ladybugs and I was able to see their faces, the dots on their backs. When I was up close to them, you don't see it that way. And it really impressed me. And like I said, the macro lens outperformed my DSLR lens, but that's the case. If I was to purchase a dedicated macro lens for my DSLR, it would probably cost more than this whole thing. Put together so keep that in mind this is what it is it's going to give you a bit of a professional feel to your smartphone and give you some really awesome photos and videos again there is a link in the description of this cinema mount if you'd like to check out more information and colors that it's available in as well as the price also if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel feel free to ask any questions in the comment box down below and if you use this or are interested in it let me know what you think about it in the comments as well thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one